My name is Megan Piercy, and when I'm asked what bluestone means to me, it's hard to know where to start, so I had to kind of write some stuff down so I keep it all together. So my first time coming to Bluestone was 14 years ago as a pioneer. And it's crazy to think about how much has happened in those years for me and how I consistently found myself here. Bluestone started as a fun place for me to go for a week, but slowly evolved into an open space for me to learn more about God and to learn more about myself and my faith and grow in confidence. I used to be the kid that was actually horrified to get up in front of a group and give presentations or anything, but I noticed after my year as a CIT here that I was able to do that with more confidence and I could give presentations and talk about my faith and just be more comfortable being myself around others. Bluestone to me now has become so much more even. I've been on staff for five years now and experienced God working through people in amazing ways on this mountain. I still remember the name and order of every counselor in CIT I had from Lisa to Rebecca to Michaela and Bryce with many more in between. When I'm with campers, I reflect on my years as a camper to help me to be better and more open with groups about my faith journey. I want them to feel the deep spiritual workings of God in this place and find the freedom that many people have up here to just be themselves. To feel loved and give grace to themselves and others no matter what they have been through. One of the most humbling and rewarding experiences for me is getting to watch campers grow as they go through a week or as they come back and I get to be their counselor again or watch them build deep connections in other groups. Working summer camp and retreats has shown me how this place brings God into people's lives in new and different ways every time that they're here. When I left for college, I didn't really know what to expect exactly. And that first year it challenged my faith and self-confidence. And my friends from Bluestone and retreats that checked in on me or asked me if I would be working on staff the next year, helped me to remain in my faith and grow more than they could ever imagine. I even now am going into my third year as a campus ministry intern for the group they invited me to come to, which is something that I never would have imagined doing without the influence of Bluestone and retreats. I've been blessed to spend more time getting to know the people in the group and working to foster a welcoming and fun and loving faith community for other students at WVU. Bluestone to me is built on genuine relationships. I've met some of my absolute best friends and favorite people at this place. And there are people that I can call or text and meet up with, even if we haven't seen each other in a while and we'll still have that genuine connection. I've had deep conversations about faith and then the next day been able to get up on stage and sing Boom Chicka Boom in opera style or dress as crazy characters for skits and just be goofy and joyful. At camp, I can just be myself 100%. I can be fun and goofy or joyful and kind or serious and emotional or all of the above at once and this place and God will still love me, all of me and hold me close. Camp has taught me that faith isn't some cookie cutter shape and that that is part of what makes it so beautiful and strong. It has taught me to never stop growing to stand up for others and spread love and kindness and hope, to be a better friend and family member and to be a little less afraid of snakes and bugs and the dark. <laughs> Camp has truly changed my life over the last 14 summers. I'm grateful beyond words for this place. Whether I'm on or off the mountain, I take the experiences and lessons and memories that I've no learned here and continue to point out ways that I can see God at work in my everyday life. Uh, my name is John. Um, I'm a counselor here at Bluestone as a CIT last year, and I've been coming up to Bluestone ever since I was a pioneer camper. Um, and I just always seem to just find myself always back on the mountain, climbing the mountain in my car, just finding my way back. And I keep doing that because Bluestone is a special place to me, and it's always helped me find out who I am, how I can be closer to God, how I can 
tackle my life because sometimes I come up to the mountain and it's been a rough time and sometimes life is just being life and just having a good old time pushing me around. And so I always find myself up here and I keep coming back because my counselors always helped me give my advice and help me um, find myself again and help me overcome my problems. And I'm coming back as a counselor and I will continue to come back as a counselor over and over again because I want to give that to the same kids who are going through the same kind of stuff, who are, we're having problems at home, we're having problems with life. And I want to be like my counselors and bring that happiness to them and make this a place where they can come and feel safe. And no matter what the weather's like around here, it's always a place that always seems to have like a golden shine on it, just the heavenly lights of above just shining down on Bluestone. And it's always feeling happy and you're always feeling safe. So that's why I continue coming back and I will continue to come back so I can help anyone who needs it and be someone that people can come to. Bluestone is important to me for so many reasons. I've been lucky enough to call this place home for so many years. And even though I didn't start as a pioneer, I started as a 6'7", I've always felt like this is home because everyone has always been so welcoming. Bluestone has been a great place for me to grow in my faith because no one here judges you and you are able to, you know, question things and talk about things and be in such a supportive environment. And I'm really glad that I still have this as a resource for growing in my faith today. Bluestone has also allowed me to create some of the best friends I could ever ask for. A few of them have been campers with me and our paths just happened to cross at the right time and now I care about these people so much and there's so many just important people who are now in my life thanks to this place. Camp has also allowed me to be myself. This is definitely a place that encourages you to be yourself and especially as a staff member I feel like I've been able to express myself in all sorts of ways and encourage others to do so. I think the camp is a really important place for people. I feel like I am so just supported and loved and that I can be whoever I want and no one will judge me. And that if I want to be loud and crazy on stage or if I want to be really quiet and serious during a Vespers, I'm allowed to do that. I think this place is such a great combination of all of those energies just put into one. You know, it's a great opportunity for crazy times, quiet times, make the world feel right, if you will. And I'm just so thankful to have a place like this to call home and have a place to go to. And I just am endlessly thankful for all the staff that has ever been here and all the campers previous and current and I just can't imagine a life without Bluestone.
tether daily I'm constrained to be let thy goodness like a feather bind my wandering heart to thee prone to wonder Lord I feel it prone to leave the God I love here's my heart Shouted from the mountain tops. I want the world to know that the Lord of love has come to me. I want to pass it on. I'll shout it from the mountain tops. I want the Christians by our love, by our love, yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will work with each other, we will work side by side, we will work with each other. We side by side and we'll guard each one's dignity and save each one's pride and they'll know we are christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are christians by our love
news that God is in our land, then they'll know we are Christians by our love. Father, from whom all things come, and all praise to Christ Jesus, the God's only Son, and all praise to the Spirit who makes us one. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We hope you'll continue joining us for the third week of virtual camp. We truly love being able to share some of the reasons Bluestone means so much to us. Now let's close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us this special place that brings us closer to you. Help us to pass on your light to others, to show your love, and give each other grace. May we all have reminders and signs in our lives that bring us back to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tune in tomorrow at 7 p.m. for Bible study.